Hello happy YouTubers, this is Marcelina at CashewGreens.com In this video, I will show you how to grow lemon from seeds Also, I will show you how I successfully rooted my citrus rootstock cuttings Before we begin, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe, like and share Also, don't forget to smash that bell because that bell is going to notify you every time we upload new videos Alright, let's dive into it Lemon fruit that I will be growing from seed is Eureka and I'm going to cut both end and I will make four slices and with my fork I'm going to take out the seed from inside Seeds have slippery seed coat and this is going to inhibit germination. So I'm going to rinse this in water. And place in the paper towel to dry the seeds. Seeds are still slippery, so I had to dry it and rub with paper towel. So to help the seed to germinate, I'm going to remove the hard shell. So I will use the JP to grow my seed because JP it gives good air circulation and also good drainage. So I'm going to soak the JP in a warm water about 60 seconds and allow it to swell. And I squeeze the remaining water and place my seed portable ends and cover lightly so I'm going to place my JP in the propagating box and I will bury in Swiss media to keep it moist So I'm going to cover my propagation with a dome to create heat and moisture and I'm going to keep it open the vent instead of closing it. So within three weeks this seed will be germinating and I'm going to show you guys the result of the seed that I grew a month ago. So this is the seed that I grew in this box and this is now more than uh, two months so I'm going to transplant this later on because it is not growing if it if I keep it in the box all right so let's uh, show you my uh, rootstock cuttings and how I successfully rooted those cuttings so these are my citrus rootstock cuttings that I propagated in this box so I'm going to use this as my uh, rootstock for grafting other citrus varieties. So I successfully rooted this and I'm going to show you how I rooted this rootstock. So you can see. I 
and it's rotted. Look at that. So I had 100% rotted my citrus root stock. Look at that guys, so all of these cuttings are rotted and I'm going to show you how I uh, rotate these cuttings. This one is not rotted, I'm going to separate this. Look at that. Wow, all of them. All of them is rooted. Look at that. So I'm going to select a good stem that I'm going to use as my root stock to graft other citrus varieties. I might use this. Alright, so I will show you how to root your rootstock. Look at this, guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at these cuttings. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my goodness. And uh, this one here <laughs> is already fruiting. Look at that. So I'm not going to bad graft this. So I will keep this by itself. And probably, so I will select a few. This one is good. I can uh, use this as my rootstock to graft my other citrus. And this one too. So this is good. So I have three or maybe some of this. So I will use five rootstock that I can graft my other citrus. So before I will show you guys, I'm going to transplant these cuttings before it dries out. So when I transplant my seedlings or newly rooted cut cuttings, I use mycoplas. This is uh, myco mycoplas is a beneficial fungus that will prevent the new developed roots from pathogen. And I'm going to use this soil, soil list from this box because I'm going to replace a new soil list when I do my next batch. So what I'm doing here, I use this 4 inch cup. As you can see, this is a cool pot because it has good drainage, as you can see. And I'm going to put this soil list just halfway. And then I will place my rooted citrus rootstock and add another extra sulis. So I press it down to prevent air pocket. And I'm going to fertilize my rootstock with a citrus stone. Okay, give it a one scoop of my citrus stone. This is for citrus. And I'm going to mix onto soil. Okay. 
and I'm going to water my newly transplant root stock, citrus cuttings. And I will keep this in the greenhouse because I just transplant these seedlings and I don't want to add more stress to the, uh, to the plant. Now I'm going to show you guys how to root this uh, rootstock citrus and I will show you. So I will be taking cuttings from lime and Meyer lemon. So I will use those cuttings as my rootstock to graft the uh, calamondin. So I will place the tag so I know what citrus is this. So this is smear. Alright, I'm going to show you how to successfully root a citrus rootstock cuttings. The first thing you will need is spray your lemon, especially the area where you're going to take the cuttings, with clonic spray. And I already sprayed my lemon uh, with clonic spray last week because it has to be done a week prior to taking the cuttings. The clonic spray is going to give you an extra bonus of rooting the steam. Now the next step, you're going to disinfect your pruners with alcohol or disinfectant wipe to prevent the transmission of disease. So I'm going to spray my pruner with 70% alcohol and I'm going to take two citrus varieties which are the lime and the uh, Meyer lemon. So I'm going to find a healthy stem for my root stock. So I'm going to take this. I just drop my pruner so this is my lime and I'm going to place this in water right away because I don't want to lose too much moisture then I'm going to take cutting from the Meyer lemon and hopefully I can find a good steam So this one, I will take this and I'm going to spray the cut to prevent infection. So I'm going to remove the lower leaves. And I will keep two seed of leaves and I will cut this top in halves. And then here, this is six inches tall, long. Then I'm going to cut 45 degree angle. Now I'm not going to do double, not double uh, rotting here. So I just the way it is 
So the same thing with my mayor. So when you take cutting, it has to be semi hardwood because it's easier for you to rot those cuttings. So I'm going to cut the top, the tip, because this is going to keep growing and then it would prevent rotting. I'm going to put 5 degrees and just like that. Okay? So I'm going to use my Clonix gel, a rotting hormone to promote roots. And I will just use small drop. This is very active rotting hormone, guys, and I always use this. Especially if you propagate plants for profit. Okay, so this one here, you just cut the cutting. And sit for a few seconds. So I'm going to place this cutting with the same box I grow my seed. With your finger, you need to create a hole. And make sure you stick the cutting almost halfway. This is going to prevent loss of moisture. And press it down to avoid air pocket. Okay, that's like that. So always label your propagation so you know what plant you propagate. So this one is lime. And I will put the date. Now after after you stick the cutting, you water. So for fast rotating the propagation, I'm going to cover with a dome. This is going to give heat and moisture. Now I don't close the vent because too much build up of temp uh, moisture is a good host for fungus, fungal growth. So I just keep it open. And that's it. Now I'm going to show you guys the uh, grafting. Ah, it's hot. <laughs> so the ideal rootstock, guys, is citrus that is grown from seed. But sometimes, in most, in most cases, or some cases, you can use cutting as your rootstock. This is what we are going to do today. And then I will uh, do this video again in the next, in the next uh, video. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to uh, graft lime. And I will use my lime as my rootstock. And I will take a scion from different varieties and then graft to the lime. So I'm not using this because there is flower. So I will select a good one. Hopefully I can find something here. Okay, let's find a good one. Okay, I find a nice healthy lime. So I'm going to take this and graph. Okay. So I will take this down. In commercial agriculture, guys, citrus, mostly grafted, uh, budded citrus. And... Uh, so this, these are grafted citrus. So we keep 
grafting as a practice. The more we practice, we are good at it. Alright, so I'm going to take this. I can cut twice. And I'm going to use the first cut. So this is good. And I'm going to remove the lower leaves. This is a healthy rootstock cutting. You just poop me. I'm going to remove all of these leaves. Okay. I remove all the leaves. Now I'm going to take cutting from Meyer Lemon. So grafting guys is a little bit of skill involved in it and majority of the graft fail <laughs> so hopefully we can do good with this and this will be my next video guys we will see what happened so I'm using my lime as my rootstock so this is my rootstock and I'm going to graft my uh, Meyer lemon so this is close close enough so I'm going to remove the leaves I'm going to wipe my tool with this infectant wipe I'm going to splice my mire 45 angle it is necessary to wear gloves but I just can't work with gloves and I will take the rest so I'm going to splice this Forty-five degrees. Okay. Then I will use the other one. I'm going to cut another forty-five degrees. Now we're going to join the rootstock and the scion and it has to be aligned, the cambium has to be aligned otherwise we will not be able to craft them. So, so it has to be aligned. Now I have my tape. Sure, I. That's really good. I'm 
drafting is fun guys if you are successful I've been doing I, I have been doing this long time ago and now I get back into grafting so we will practice together okay all right so I'm going to reinforce this graph again with my rubber band so that it up it doing the scion and the road stuff can you imagine doing this one guys <laughs> thousand of them like if you work in the commercial growing it you know so I'm going to tie this Oops, sorry guys. So just bear with me, okay? We will redo this again. I was fast doing this long time ago, and now I felt like I am in the beginning. Maybe because if you keep doing it all the time so it's just a piece of cake but if you don't do it for almost 30 years now since I have been doing this and you felt like you are a newbie again but it's okay we will practice this all the time okay okay we made it so I'm going to grow this in uh, Fagpanix because Fagpanix has this constant watering system so it doesn't dry out with my, my grafting. So let's go to the greenhouse. So I'm going to uh, place this in the Fagpanix and I have this one here. Hopefully this one make it. It's a little bit dry so I'm going to dip this. So I tied, hopefully this would root and we'll see what happened and this will be my next video guys. I normally don't prepare grafting, I rather ear layering because ear layering is uh, guaranteed that your citrus will grow but this one here you are taking a chance and bad grafting is little bit high rate of success than doing this so I'm going to put it in I probably place almost halfway so the so the water can penetrate so I will cover this up to this close so it doesn't dry out the graph here and I'm going to put a doom okay hopefully that would help and I'm going to label it after all right this is for today folks we hope this video helped you if you enjoy watching this video give thumbs up also if you're looking for citrus or any cool products Check the link description below this video. Thank you for watching. This is Marceline at CashierGreens.com. See you next time. Bye bye. Know that the ride or die. I keep boys by my side. Know that the ride or die. I keep boys by my side. Oh, Day we hustle, but the night we. Oh, Know that the ride or die.